There is nothing more important to society than the raising of children, for its very survival requires it. Homosexual unions are by nature contradictory to this. Andrew Scheer was a 25-year-old first-term opposition MP in 2005, explaining why he opposed the bill to legalize same-sex unions. As they cannot commit to the natural procreation of children, they cannot therefore be married. Mr. Scheer. Mr. Scheer. Scheer, like the vast majority of his Conservative caucus, led by Stephen Harper, voted against the bill. So did a number of Liberal MPs. Mr. McCauley. Today, 14 years after that vote, Liberals decided to post Scheer's comments online and highlight how the Conservative leader refuses to take part in pride parades across the country. Scheer is a devout Roman Catholic. In recent years, he's avoided debate on major social conservative issues like abortion and same-sex marriage. But his position from 2005 is no secret. I have my own personal beliefs and, you know, my own faith background. In fact, our Rosemary Barton asked him about that very speech when he ran for the Conservative leadership. It happened in 2005. You know, I was a member of Parliament at the time. I, I voted my conscience. I voted my constituents' wishes. It's not something that I, I'm uh, looking to revisit or to, to reopen or things like that. Today, his campaign team reiterated that point, saying Scheer supports same-sex marriage as defined in law and as Prime Minister will, of course, uphold it. Conservatives point out Liberal MPs have also opposed same-sex marriage or voted against it in the past, calling the video the Liberals shared today another desperation tactic from Trudeau on the eve of an election. Let's bring in our Parliamentary Bureau Chief, Rob Russo. And Rob, Andrew Scheer has said he's not going to reopen the marriage equality debate. So let's talk about what the Liberals hope to gain here. Well, they hope to gain a couple of things, Ian. Number one, uh, is it a diversion from the uh, Ethics Commissioner's report on SNC-Lavalin? There might be something to it. But there's something probably more fundamental to this. They want to frame this campaign as a choice between someone who is a progressive and somebody who they are saying is anachronistic. Uh, so they've dug out something that hasn't been uh, sort of buried for a long, long time. As you saw, Rosie asked him about this just two or three years ago. But a lot of first-time voters would not know that Andrew Scheer held this kind of opinion. He refuses to say now whether he holds the same view. What he said is he's not bringing it back. But those words out of Andrew Scheer's mouth and that kind of dim, gray video makes him, making him look even more anachronistic, is probably meant to try and tell younger voters, first-time voters, people who turned out in disproportionate numbers for the Liberals the last time, that if you are not so thrilled with Justin Trudeau, that's fine. But do you really want Andrew Scheer to be the person who becomes Prime Minister? If you don't, come on out and vote this time. Don't stay at home like you normally do. But the Conservatives, Rob, are saying that this, is, this shows desperation on the part of the Liberals. Well, it shows that they, they, they do need to get those people to come out and vote for them again if they're going to win another mandate. Uh, desperation, maybe. Uh, uh, trying to frame the issue, yes. And has it already borne fruit for them? Yes, it has, Ian, because NDP leader Jagmeet Singh, based on what he saw today, probably not realizing it's an old issue, said that there's no way he can support a minority conservative government, thereby throwing away almost all the leverage he would have in negotiating with a Liberal government for their support, which is baffling at this stage of the race. Thanks, Rob. My pleasure, Ian.